Hi, here we are. This is live at Epifan. I'm your host today. I'm George. Other George is away. Dan is away. So it's just me today. But that's okay because we have a very exciting show today, which makes my job really easy because <laughs> today is new product day, which means we get to introduce to you a new product that we haven't talked about very much, uh, which is Pearl Mini. So the reason I'm talking about it today is because if you've been following our Facebook page, you might have seen a bunch of live videos coming out of Amsterdam uh, from ISE Europe. Uh, ISE Europe is this massive trade show all about like AV technology and we go there every year and exhibit and have a big booth. <clears throat> In fact, we even have a picture of it here, we'll show you. Um, but uh, so we're over there right now showing off uh, to the world for the first time our Pearl Mini. So here it is, our glorious green booth um, with all of our colleagues over there talking about it. So. Uh, without further ado, uh, I'll show you the product. But uh, as I'm as I'm going to introduce it to you, let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to know about it. Put it in the comments here. I'm checking it out on Facebook and YouTube. Make sure uh, that we uh, listen to you, and and I'll try to get your feedback as much as I can. But uh, this is it, Pearl Mini, first look. So what you're looking at here is not exactly a final product. Uh, the end caps are not quite uh, what you're going to see on the M1. We have these beautiful green. Uh, uh, pretty sexy looking end caps, which you're going to see, but it's more or less what it is. And so uh, let's give you a quick tour. So as you can see, it is a has a big seven inch touch, touch screen. Uh, this is a, a live streaming and recording uh, device. It's your all in one streaming and recording and switching device. So if any of you are familiar with Pearl 2 or our uh, Pearl, uh, this is pretty much the same thing except a smaller version. And by smaller, I mean smaller in size, of course. It's not quite as big. And it has less ports, which also means it is going to be far more affordable than Pearl 2, which is very expensive but a massively capable device. So you're going to get a chance to get all the great features of Pearl 2, uh, but for those of you who only need a couple of inputs to work with, this is going to be the device for you. So I love the angle of the screen. Thanks. Tank RC. Yeah, we worked hard to make sure that this looked good from a uh, desktop point of view so that when you're looking at it, for example, when I'm looking at it here, I can see a nice angle on it too, so it's not completely flat. Um, <clears throat> so, here it is in all its glory. And let's start the tour. I'll tell you everything you need to know about it. So, we've got a 7 inch touchscreen on the front. This is for your control of all the UI. Uh, you can start and stop. Uh, recording and streaming, you can switch through your sources, you can do your live switching right on here. Um, you can connect uh, uh, two HDMI inputs and one SDI input and do all your switching. <clears throat> now, Ethernet only, uh, yes, this is Ethernet only, this is not a Wi Fi uh, capable device. Uh, you'll see down here we have an SD card slot. So, Lisa, in fact, if you want to zoom in, we can show them the ports on the front here, they can get a better look. Here, okay, let's see, I got this right, all right. So, yes, we have our uh, SD card slot right here. Uh, so instead of having an internal hard drive on this, uh, you're gonna use SD cards instead, which gives you a little bit more flexibility in some cases. We have your headphone jack, and sorry, I'm looking at a reverse output of this. We have your headphone jack, we have a USB slot here. <clears throat> and of course, uh, some uh, LEDs here to show you if you're streaming and recording and if you have power. And if we flip this around the back, we can see, okay, we've got our power. We've got USB slots. So for these, you might use to uh, bring in external media, like if you want to build a layout that has um, combining images and <coughs> video sources, you can bring them in that way. You can also use it to offload any recorded files directly to a USB storage. You have your inputs are here. You have an SDI, 3G SDI, so this is an HD. Uh, device, unlike our Pearl 2, which is 4K, and you have HDMI inputs. So you have two HDMI inputs, one SDI input. You have Ethernet, you have HDMI out, so if you're capturing whatever you're, you're using this device for, you can send out that encoded footage through uh, HDMI out. It could be a channel that you have with a picture-in-picture -picture layout that you want to put out through HDMI out, or it could just be a direct pass-through of a source. People use that for uh, if you want to have a, a big confidence monitor, or if you want to have a, uh, at the front of house, if you've got a big display. 
And then over here, we have our audio. So we've beefed up our audio a little bit for this one. We've spent a lot of attention trying to make sure that we give you uh, <clears throat> capabilities to capture any kind of audio. So you're going to see we have mic input here. I don't think we have mic input on the Pearl 2. We have two XLR inputs. They can either be uh, linked as a stereo pair or they can be independent. And we have, there's also a TRS input here in the middle that's called a combo jack. And we have the RCA inputs. <clears throat> so that's pretty much the tour of the inputs. Uh, so Lisa, we can change that up there. So, so that's your, your quick 10 cent tour of the Pearl Mini. And we'll spend a lot more time over this in the next couple of months talking about all the things you can do. Uh, you can visit our website, epifan.com, and you can see well, there's a product page which lists all the features and it has some tech specs. And you can contact our support team to find out questions about it. In terms of availability, we're talking a couple of months from now. So what is it now? Middle of February? So we've been thinking, we've been saying Q Q2. So sometime April, May, June, we'll have this available for sale. Uh, pricing has also not been released yet, but like I say, it'll be a lot more affordable than Pearl 2, so I think you'll find it's incredible value for what you're going to get. Uh, that was kind of the objective here. Let's, let's make the, the device that we think can bring the most value and the most features for the, a good price point. So it's got all the Pearl features you need, like SDI and XLR, and it's, uh, it's going to be rock solid, just like Pearl 2. So, Let's see, we got a question here. Can you, can you use USB cameras? So right now we're saying we, we're not supporting USB cameras. That could change in the future once we test it. It has a smaller processor than its big brother Pearl 2. So we'll have to see how it behaves with USB cameras and then we'll, we'll know for sure. But right now we're not supporting USB cameras. Uh, let's see, any other comments in here? How much, please? Yeah, like I said, the price is going to come soon, uh, but I don't want to get it out yet until we've absolutely got it right because I don't want to leak a, a wrong price. So you can see here the size difference between Pearl 2 and its little brother, Pearl Mini. So it's it's still very heavy. Like <laughs> when you pick this up, you'll be surprised at how, it, how heavy it is for the, for the size that it is, but it's nowhere near as uh, uh, much of a beast as its uh, big sister. Looking for testers, World of Frame. We are. I'll write to you after. Um, and you can tell me what you do, and maybe there's a, there's a way we can team up on it. So to, to outline some of the differences between what Pearl 2 is and what Pearl Mini is, Pearl 2 can capture six to eight sources. It does everything in 4K, uh, if you have the 4K uh, version of Pearl 2, 12G SDI, um, like someone pointed out, the USB uh, sources. Um, same firmware is going to run on both, so for the most part, the, the behavior of them is going to be almost the same, but this is a, just a much more powerful, uh, can capable, capable of handling a lot more sources, and this is going to be smaller and more affordable, but uh, I, we know it's going to be really popular, because a lot of people have been asking us for a you know, one or two channel or one or two input uh, device for doing live events, and also education is going to be massive for this device, because it's going to be the perfect lecture capture uh, a piece of kit that you're going to want. So let's see, see if we got any other comments. Those are def definitely USB 3 capable parts. Good eye, Adam Frame. Uh, so uh, hopefully that uh, that comes into play. Um, so yeah, let me know if you have other comments uh, about Pearl Money you want to you want to know about, and I'll try to get you that information. Uh, check out our Facebook page. We're going to have more live videos. Uh, from ISE Europe, from our booth, and we're going to talk to people over there and find out what they think they need for this. We still have some questions about how people are going to use a device like this, so we're really excited to hear from, from all of you uh, how you might use it. Um, so we'll have lots more details in the next... Uh, hopefully pricing comes out in a couple of, within a couple of weeks. That's my hope, at least, because <laughs> I do a lot of the marketing for the company here, so it makes life easier when we have pricing. Uh, but other than that, that's about it for our show today. It's a short show because we've been pushing out all of our content over uh, from ISE, and uh, we'll be doing the same thing at NAB. NAB's in April, I think, yeah. So we'll be there. We'll have Pearl Mini on display. We'll have Pearl 2. We'll have our grabbers. We'll have our webcasters. So if you want to try any of this stuff, come see us at a trade show. We really like to meet the people who use our equipment. So... Um, I think that's about it. Someone else got, us, got another comment here. We've integrated the Pearl into the past. I can't wait to try the Mini. That's great. The Tank RC. And 
that's about it for me today. Short show, but kind of a big announcement, so we're uh, it's an easy one for us. So uh, tune in. We'll be here next Thursday at 3 o'clock. We'll also be on Facebook doing some more live stuff tomorrow if you're around. So uh, that's it. See you.